Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to your favorite clock channel, otherwise known as Clock TV. And I'd like to welcome you all to another special video. This is yet another annual tradition for this channel because today is March 11th, 2023, 11, 12 p.m. But soon enough, it's not even going to be 11, 12 p.m. because it's about to become 12, 12 p.m. Why? Because today's daylight savings time. Yay. And I'm left with all of this to change. So, as per usual, I'm going to go around the whole shop and change every single clock. This is an annual tradition I've done since 2020 now. So, with that said, I don't want to keep you all waiting. Let's go ahead and change some clocks. Let's go. Our first clock, obviously, is going to be the mascot because, you know, it makes perfect sense for me to do it because, well, it's my mascot. Anyways, let's do this. All right, one down, let's continue. All right, time for the grandfather clocks. We're gonna obviously start with Colonial because this is the most special one. Let's get right to it. I'm actually going to change that very briefly, just for the heck of it. All right, Colonial's finished. Let's move on to my Emperor.
And there we go. Two grandfather clocks, done. I can't forget about my black shelf, right? Got a bunch of small ones to change. But I've also got my Seth Thomas. Let's do that first. And while we wait for that to finish chiming, I'll get a few of these. this one while I'm at it. And obviously it's just not one to go in at the moment. I'll fix that later. Here's this one in the back. Uh, I got this one. Fix this one while I'm at it, wherever the thing is. <laughs> there it is. And, oh, that one's already ahead. I must have forgot to change it last year. Get this little guy out of the way. And obviously I just lost the leg to that, but I'll fix that in a little bit. But that's pretty much everything on that shelf. Now to come to the front section, which consists of this white shelf, three mantel clocks, and my Zodiac art wall clock. Speaking of that, let's just go ahead and start with that. There we go, that one's done. We come down, we're gonna go ahead and do this one. The Rocks Hall, to be specific. Ingram. And here's one of my Yurgos clocks. And coming down, we have my Washington DC clock. Got back in 2017 to be specific. Uh, this one, I don't know the full story behind it. So changing this might be a little on the complicated side. Things. Okay, there we go. Here's this one. That one's dead. We'll fix this one. The hour button is rather finicky. And it does tend to run behind a little bit. Um, we'll do this one despite the fact it's running wildly behind. And here's my Timex. Sorry, I have to... Doing this one with one hand is not easy. 
But, all right, that's everything right there. Let's move on. Now it's time to do my cuckoo clocks, which we're going to start with this battery operated one. It's running a little behind. And it's a little low on battery, but there we go. Here's this one. Okay, cuckoo clocks done. Let's go. Now we're gonna come to this side wall, which has these six clocks. Although I am leaving these two out because they're wireless and you can already see that SkyScan changed itself. And I think Primex will do the same. So let's go and do these. Here's this ginormous clock, which I have set on my chair. We're gonna go ahead and change it. All right, I got this thing done. Now let's get it back up on the wall. Here is this pendulum clock. Let's go ahead and get this one done. There we go. And last but not least, let's do my Hermley Bim Bam clock. We got the Hermley done. While I'm at it, we'll just do this one because there's no face on it. And I may as well do this one. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, those two are done as a bonus. All right, now we come to these three big boys. First, we start off with my Sanry Ham by Howard Miller. Chimes running a little slow. Actually, we're going to skip ahead a little bit.
All right, singing him and Westmont are done. Let's finish up Jenison. All right, my three giant wall clocks are done. Next up, we have this Shindawa clock. Let's go ahead and change this one. And there we go. And now let's do this one because there's no face on it. Perfect. Now we come to this glass clock. A very nicely themed gas station clock, I guess. And just as simple as that. All right, now we're kind of starting to come into the home stretch of this video. We're coming down to the last wall, you could say. So we just changed this Howard Miller wall clock. We'll come up to this rip-off Vienna regulator, I guess you could call it. And here's my Howard Miller go there's that one come to my electromechanical clock now we come up to spoogel And there we go, got all the wind-up ones. Now let's do this one, which might be kind of, actually not as difficult. I thought the Christmas light would get in the way. All right, there we go, that one's done. If we come over here, we got my Beatles clock. And there we go, there's the Beatles clock. Now we come to my Westland Quartz clock. Let's go ahead and change this one. There we go. All right, we're coming to the final stretch. We're gonna start off with my Howard Miller Joyce. Uh-oh, that's not right. Okay, that did not go the right way.
I will come back to the sessions a little later. All right, we got the top show f finished, other than the sessions clock having an issue, which I'll assess a little later. And now we come down to my Worthington. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, there we go, there's Worthington. And we also have this little homemade one. Let's go ahead and do this little guy. There we go, that one's done. All right, everybody, I feel like I've gotten pretty much every single clock in the shop. I did do a few prior to making this video, so you've probably noticed it. That includes those ones up there because those are rather hard to get to reach. So I had to do it off camera because doing it on camera is rather risky because I could be putting myself at risk for injuring myself potentially. So I apologize for that. And I did have a bit of a mishap with these sessions because it ran out of winding power, hence why it chimed 7 o'clock at 1 o'clock. But I fixed that on the live stream, so you can go watch that if you'd like. But other than that little mishap, we got pretty much every single clock in the shop changed. There's a few that still have dead batteries, which I need to get replaced. 
but pretty much everything in the shop has been changed. So now we're one hour ahead, which means we've also lost an hour's sleep, unfortunately. <laughs> but with all this said, I think this is going to wrap up today's video. I thank you all so much for watching. I put a lot of work into making this. And I do apologize if there were a couple mishaps throughout the making of this video. I definitely should have wound sessions before making this video. <laughs> and But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. With that said, bye.